Hello, everyone. Uh, I was just struggling on what do I talk about. You know, sometimes you just, there are some days, eh? What to talk about? They'll be so plenty. You'll be like, let me not even talk about this. Let me, oh, I've talked enough. I don't want to talk about some of, some of them. I won't talk about them. I just keep the videos to post the next day. And then there are some days, oh my like, gosh, you don't, even, there's nothing to even talk about. You're literally looking at what are the things. And I've promised myself that, you know, I'm going to be doing five videos per day, talk about the issues and not just be silent. And so, so I was just really thinking about what to talk about. I've done like four videos. I'm like, oh gosh, I need to do the fifth one. What do I talk about? And all of that. And I saw this and I was on uh, X. That's uh, on, on Twitter. Sorry, I just scratched my head. My head. So I was on X and I saw this tweet and it was so apt. I'm like, yes, I need to talk about this. It's not really normal. It's a governance really, but it's not. Uh, so, but let me, let me read out the tweet. It's from a, a handle called a diamond hope underscore it says let's normalize having a small life the one where you just have nine to five with no side gigs no li no li no little business no personal brand nothing you just have a job hobbies and you are content and so i actually replied i replied the tweet let, let me read let, let me read out my reply and i just did that reply and i said for that to happen one must live in a society where the bases are taken care of. Sadly, in Nigeria, one needs a lot of money to have a basic, decent life. That's what many people don't understand. There are many people who don't want bougie life. They don't want to be flying to places, to be traveling. That's why you go to certain countries. Advanced countries. Some people they don't even, they, they don't even have passport. They've never owned a passport. They've never traveled out of their country, and they don't have intention of traveling out of their country. They are very contented to be where they are. And so some people. That's why you see someone will resign from being a Wall Street one big business person, big corporate person, and the person who now is going to be a janitor, where he's cleaning uh, a, a school. Because why? The society has taken care of a lot of things here in in nigeria you need money to be able to have the basic good quality education is dependent on the economic status of one's family if you don't have the money your children won't go to a good school that's that's the beginning healthcare system for you to even assess the healthcare system you must have money if you don't have money you are in any hospital security you have to provide security for yourself you are, for you to house, you have to be building a house or owning or and to live in a decent appoint, uh, uh, apartment. So basically everything that is needed to make life, you know, good. Water, you neither need to live to a place where you are digging your own borehole, providing your own water. So basically everything you're the one providing it for yourself. So that makes things so difficult. So that means you have to keep earning, you have to work, you have to have the money for you to have a uh, decent life. A lot of people, they just have 24-7 electricity, right? And they are good with it. But for most of us in Nigeria, for you to have 24-7 electricity, you have to spend a lot. That's why for me, I always say that my husband, who, ah, God bless that man. Who, he's my everything. He's my minister of water resources, my minister of power. Because he provides those things. He's my government. My husband is my government. So I read that thing that you call Nigeria government. My husband is one providing those things for me the things that government is supposed to provide for me to have a decent life government hasn't provided them it's my husband that provides those things for me well like, like in my house we have 24 7 electricity so that means we have to have solar we have solar we have generator we have inverter so even when they take lights automatically just do, you don't even see the light bring just yet you just you just know that something else there's a bit of shift you know the light doesn't even go up now my husband, oh, I thank God for the husband where I get water, boho, this one or oh, that one. He provides and does all of those things. So for you to be able to do get the, you must have money. But in some in some places, 24-7 electricity is normal. All you need to do is to pay your small bills. And that's it. But here you have to be the producer of the electricity itself for you to be able to have 24-7 electric uh, 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 lights. 24-7 electricity. So that makes it difficult. That's why 
when you're talking about issue of just somebody having a small salary it's never it's not enough and that has led people to be doing all sorts of things all manners of things that they shouldn't be doing even in the places uh that, that they work and for me that's always the reason why i when i see the uh when i see nlc right that like the labor union labor congress always fighting for increase in salary i'm like this is nonsense instead of always focusing on increasing salary, focus on good governance because if you have good governance a lot of things that you're doing that you know you you are asking for you won't need to for example like even this when they talk about cars petrol when they say for me what do i why do i need car in my house if i can have good transport system i leave my house i know the bus is going to come either every three two hours or every one hour or something something i know the bus will be here i will go out there and meet the bus if if uh, some every 30 minutes i know the bus will pass it so i walk i put my distance through it i go out and enter public transport do all i need to do i don't need to drive a car but because we live in a place where there are no good transport systems so you have to provide a car for yourself you have to carry yourself you know uh, along and all of that so these are the things that make it so difficult that someone cannot just say and say let me just do my small job and that's why when i see people saying that oh you know if you want to start business you have to do don't don't think about the money think about yeah, their passion i'm like <laughs> the person is not it's not a nigerian but i always give that say those people are not nigerians because if you're in nigeria the money is the passion and we passion the passion for you to go and be doing that thing but on a serious note when we have good governance when we have development we, we have things that are working for everyone and not just for the few just having your basic small work it will be okay because not everybody really wants to have this big life big cars traveling you know people just want to have decent life their kids can go to you know good schools they they live in decent houses they they can transport they said they can they have food they can eat food good quality affordable food affordable housing trans good public transport system security they can travel and all of that that's what people want you live you get old you die you move on but this one they've only what some people have only enriched themselves at the detriment of every other uh, person people are suffering people are going through so much and then some few people have conobied the wealth of the nation and they've kept uh kept it uh to themselves well we just keep we just keep going giving up will never be an option and not fighting will never be an option we'll keep fighting for a better nigeria we'll keep standing for a better nigeria we'll keep working towards a better nigeria and nigeria must work in our lifetime by the grace of god for me that's that's my own i'm going to do everything i can to ensure that that happens thank you so much and bye bye